Hey, what's up? Schnell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Dutch Pierce. Heavy Hails. He sent a package yesterday, which is gnarly as hell, but I've been listening to one of these releases for months now. I made a sick dub of it. And we're going to be playing the dub. And that is Charnel Oublet with Carving Stone for the Dead. Killer, killer dungeon synth ambient goodness. It's pretty much everything I possibly could ask for when it comes to a dungeon synth release. It's about as minimal as it gets, and I absolutely adore all eight tracks on here. They are amazing. Like, listening to this with um, Cole today, even, he was like, this is really cool, and like, this is an eight-year-old that understands, like, you know, this is something interesting. I know this is going to sound weird because the microphone, but it is so good. I'm beyond grateful that Dutch sent this over because Charnel Hoblet, definitely one of my favorite go to bands in the genre. And if you follow the channel Patreon, you know this because you've seen that cover multiple times. I post this a couple times a month. And uh, some of the other releases also. But, like, the whole, like, uh, AVRA collective is just gnarly. And uh, Ghost Veil Records, Ghost Veil Records, sorry, put this sick, sick digi pack out. I think the cassette was limited to 25, but uh, I made my own. And. On the A side, I actually have the last Haunt promo because they were pressed on these old Memrix tapes. And uh, so it's pretty cool because the A side only has the new, the new Haunt track. And I will go over this one day. I really didn't know if it was all right to play and then i figured out it was on Bandcamp. so uh yeah but on this side i put the charnel oblet cd uh carving stone for the dead i keep forgetting the title i keep wanting to say the other album but yeah this is just like i just said minimal amazing dungeon synth slash ambient music. I absolutely am a sucker for this stuff, especially when it's done the way Charnel Oblet do it. And, like, my decision to dub the tape on, you know, this older model gave it this extra you know, bit of, like, I, I don't know how to, like, it just added this extra layer of atmosphere that's probably 100% in my head compared to the amazing CD version, though, which legit sounds like you're listening to a vinyl. It's, like, very crispy and, like, kind of poppy, even. 
but like not in a distracting way at all. Like it just sounds like you know you put a record on the turntable and you're waiting for the first track to uh, get picked up by the needle. It like has that kind of sound buried without like without uh, within the mix and everything, and it's just it works really really well i don't know if that was intentional but it really adds this extra bit of awesomeness to the lo-fi aspect of the recording and the minimalism like because this really is like just straight up like chill dungeon synth and you know you can call it ambient call it whatever you want to me this is dungeon synth and it's some of the best and it's not just because you know i know some member well i know individuals that have a part in this and whatnot but like it's seriously it's so so good the original art was by uh, Casper David Frederick. The mastering job by uh, uh, T. Nordau, ama like absolutely amazing, amazing. And all music by the keeper of the charnel, Ublet. And I hope I am saying that correctly. But all nine of these tracks. Like, I know you can't hear this. I will fix the microphone problem. But all nine tracks are just amazing. Really nice digipack design. Like, I'm really glad I dubbed this, because otherwise I'd have to listen to it on a DVD player in my house. But, like, in the car, this is, like, my go-to recording right now. Because, like, I didn't even change this once today, and I've already listened to it three times this morning. It's just that, it's really that good. If you're a fan of this type of music or if you're trying to get into this type of music carving stone for the dead probably is a great great gateway into the subgenre because you can just go down that rabbit hole and you know find stuff that fits your taste because maybe, you know, you want some vocals behind this or something like that. But to me, that's what makes this so incredible is the fact that, you know, it doesn't rely on vocals. It's one of the reasons I love instrumental and ambient music to begin with. There's just something about it that leaves a little bit to the imagination. And... I just love the vibe and atmosphere that Charnel Oblet bring to the table on Carving Stone for the Dead. It legit matches everything. And with tracks like, I'm trying to find my favorite one, Patience of a Gravestone. That's my favorite track on here. Yeah, holy shit is it good. It's just so good. And I love like the space, like it's, there's like weird spacey parts. Really, really cool, cool stuff. Like again, if you like blood incantations, time wave zero even. There's stuff on here you're gonna really like. And it's kind of 
this is what's so interesting about like ambient music is because I can compare this to Highway Zero and I'm not wrong at all. I mean, there's obvious like parallels and whatnot, but this also came way before this bad boy. But I really love this stuff so much, and I can't kiss its ass enough. Because I am being a little biased here, but I will be the first to tell you this is not for everyone. And that's just the way it is. Like, when it comes to dungeon synth, ambient music, noise, drone... It's really not for everybody. Like, to me, maximum volume always yields maximum result. Like, I've seen Sun, like, six times. Whenever Earth comes to town, I try and go. Same thing with, like, Neurosis and stuff. But I haven't seen Neurosis without the uh, monitor, which is kind of weird. But, like, I would always go see, like, Isis and stuff. But... I, you know, I legit have never seen an actual, like, Dungeon Synth performance. And it kind of bums me out. Every time I, like, you know, see that an artist I like is, like, playing, it just sells out instantly. And most, you know, of the Dungeon Synth artists I like are either, sadly passed away, or I couldn't give them a million dollars to play live. The answer would be, nope! But, like, I would love to see, like, you know, like, Mortis play the demo and, like, the first record. Or even, like, everything up to, like, Stargate, I would be very happy with. Like, to me, that would be a very good time, but, like, I've just never made it out to, like... I mean, I've been to plenty of noise shows and stuff, but I've never, like, legit seen a straight-up dungeon synth performance live, and it kind of bums me out, because it's something I eventually would like to do myself. But, you know, it's going to take some time, obviously, and... It's just something I know I would be probably kind of good at. Like, I, I know what I want personally, and I just, like, I go to the music store until they kick me out, pretty much. Like, messing with the synthesizers and stuff, they put the mini Korg back on the shelf. But, like, I'll, I'll have, like, you know, like, three set up, and, it, dude, uh, it, it's so much fun, but... You know, it is what it is. But the prices of, like, uh, cords and stuff have definitely... They went up a couple hundred dollars since the last time I kind of went, like, looking at prices and stuff. Like, at a George... There's a, there's a music shop by me called George's Music. And uh, I went in there a few weeks ago, and, like, I was looking at the mini cords and everything like that. But I really don't know how, you know, the keeper of the charnel oblet, like, just captures, like, that lo-fi, like, I, I know it's how, it, it it's all about how it's recorded and whatnot, but, like, I'm curious, like, how to not overdo it. Like, I don't know how to capture this, like, sound. It's just so organic and beautiful and at the same time it just hits you here. Doesn't matter, you know, what's going on. You're gonna find something in your mind to wander to if you let this do what it's supposed to do. And that's in for me, when I listen to a release like this, 
I like to you know, smoke a ball and then like just sit back normally, no lights on, and just close my eyes and escape from reality for at least like a half an hour. And to me, that's enough. And that's where, to me, a record like Carving Stone for the Dead and like Time Wave Zero transcend regular music. And don't get me wrong, like, you know, obviously if you listen to Morbid Angel and stuff, like, this record can take you places. It's just, you know, all up to you and how seriously you want to take the tunes that exist within. But, uh, that's actually on the turntable right now. But today's video also goes out to Trevor and Klaus Schultz. We lost two legends recently, but Klaus also was, to me, one of my favorite composers. If you don't know who he is, just go type his name in up top and watch the first live video that pops up and you'll see why I feel that he's a fucking legend. That performance is ridiculous. And you know what else is ridiculous? How good Charnel Oblet Carving Stone for the Dead is. CD available on Ghost Veil Records. This is my own homemade hand-dubbed cassette. And I have to thank Haunt and Salem, Oregon. Because this was the only blank tape I had left. And on the A side, like I said, there's the new Haunt song. And now on the B side, I have one of my favorite Dungeon Synth slash ambient releases. Carving Stone for the Dead by Charnel Oblet. And like the whole a AVRA collective, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be pronounced. I probably should have asked ahead of time. But some real good stuff. Like if you don't know what that is, again, you have plenty of research to do here. But aside from Patience of a Gravestone, Pat with Lurker, Beyond the Void's a real good one. Forever Cast in uh, Memorial Longing. They're all really, really good, honestly. No Refuge from Decay. It's just a great release. Like, trust me, give it a listen. And if you're a fan of Dungeon Synth and Ambient. You probably already know about this and you know how good it is. But if you're new to the genre, hey, definitely get into this. I do not know how available this is, so if it's sold out, I apologize. But still, give it a listen digitally and enjoy it because Charnel Oblet. Carving Stone for the Dead. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love this album. Thank you to Dutch Pierce for supporting the channel and just being rad. And thank you, Maniacs, for watching. Um, there's a thing called Super Thanks in the comment section. If you want to support the channel, click there. It's pretty cool. It's a new thing. I don't really know how it works, but, uh, yeah, you can, like, donate to videos you like, and that's pretty cool. But, thanks for watching, as always, you fucking rule. I hope you really check this out and enjoy. Hails. Yeah.